What's going on, people? This is Tashir, the Energetic, once again, handling biz this time for a couple of YouTube users. Uh, first off, TJB202 was asking about uh, recording, say, from a media player on your computer or YouTube and sampling into machine. And secondly, Mayhem1914 was asking for a, an explanation on choke groups. First and foremost, the uh, recording, a lot of it, I honestly believe, has to do with the kind of uh, interface you have. I'm just going to show you my method real quick. And let's take a look at my interface. I actually have an M-Audio Pro Fire 610. It's a great interface with six ends and ten outs. I actually cover up these LEDs because they get pretty bright, especially in the dark. But check this out. I literally have cords running from my output three and four on the back to inputs one and two on the front. So whatever is going out is coming right back in and I'm able to sample right into the machine. The next thing you want to do is go to your matrix software. Interfaces with a lot of ins and outs normally come with something like this. You can literally route a particular output to a particular input. So I'm going to go to analog output three and four and make sure that I'm getting audio into software return one and two. And as you can see, it works perfectly. Check one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now that we got that done, let's go to the last step. All you have to do now is go to the sampling tab on machine. Go to this knob right here that says input and set it to the proper input, which in our case is one and two. Hello, hello. Now you can see there's audio going into the machine software. If you were sampling off of YouTube, this would be a perfect time to do so. That's all fine and dandy, but I got a much better copy on my computer. I'm going to play it from my media player into the machine software. What I'm going to do is hit start, and when the beat kicks in, it'll automatically start sampling. Check it out. Perfect. Go back over here. Go to, to edit. Oh, take that, that beginning out. Audio. Truncate. Perfect. After that, go to normalize. Made it a little louder. Go to the slice tab. And I actually like the split mode of the slicing. So I'm going to set myself for eight slices and go to edit. And now I can edit the top and bottom of each uh, individual chop. Check it out. Cool, got all my slices together. Come out of edit and go to apply. Cool, all my slices are good now. A couple of things we need to do. As you can see right here, this is the pattern according to how I sliced it. I don't need that. Go to shift, clear, get that out of there. One more thing we got to do go to modules, go to page two. And here's the issue. When I take my finger off the pad, the sample stops. So I go to one shot. I got my one shot, but now I got another issue. All the samples are starting to overlap. This is the perfect time to go into the second part of the lesson. So if you come back over here to page one of the modules, and you'll see polyphony and choke group. Now, polyphony is the amount of notes that can play at one time without cutting each other off. 
and choke group is what we're about to talk about. The function of a choke is picture two samples. Okay. And picture them playing together. Now they're both fighting, trying to be heard. And it sounds pretty crappy. The whole purpose of a choke is simply this. When you play the first sample and then you play the second sample while the first sample is playing, it cuts off the first sample. Check it out. I'm going to put the whole group into choke group one and set the polyphony to one and check this out. Everything cuts it off and you can hear all the samples without them, uh, you know, playing it together. This example probably works a little bit better when you're talking about hi-hats. You got a closed hat and a hi-hat. Now, you got them playing together. No distinction at all. But if you put them both in a choke group and set the polyphony to one, works a little bit better. Now, as you see, they're not playing together, but it works really good for this. So as you come from the closed hat, you get that high hat, that open hat that goes, and then you go right back to the close and this, and it's really, really nice. Works really perfect for hi hats, but for the samples, matter of fact, actually pretty nice uh, don't be trying to take my chops anyhow shout out to tbj202 and mayhem 1914 for giving me the idea for the videos shout out to everybody that's showing me mad support on the machine videos uh everything i've done so far and trust me there's a lot more coming um on that note i think i'm gonna play around with these samples and i'll be trying to take my chops man but until next time y'all be good peace